Welcome back to the vlog. So, Jonathan just went to work and I'm sitting here kind of pressed right now, right? So first of all, wait, what's first of all? You know how last vlog I said like I canceled my hair appointment, blah, blah, blah. So I'm trying to get, I was trying to get it redone with, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to rebook with the girl that I canceled with because now I'm like, all right, let's do this for real. I'm ready to do this for real, right? She's booked, obviously. You know, I really miss the days when you could just walk into the hairdresser and just sit and wait and it'll be your turn. People are booked out for months these days. Half the people aren't even taking new clients. What is going on? So anyways, sorry. If you're using headphones, you're gonna hate me. I'm coming in kind of strong with this vlog. Anyway, so I found someone else. She's just as good. I'm like, wow, she's doing some good work. I think she can give me the desired style. I think it's gonna be great. So I book an appointment. I put my $40 deposit down. And then I text her, or like I messaged her today on Instagram and I was like, hey, I booked it for the 16th, but I'm like, I don't really wanna wait that long because if you haven't noticed, I haven't really done anything spectacular with my hair. I mean, I did like some wand curls with the clip-ins the other day, but. I mean, if you followed me on Instagram, you saw at the end of the night, you know, for a city. So I'm like, whatever, I'm ready to do something different with my hair. I don't want to wait until the 16th. Today is the 2nd of September. I don't want to wait till the 16th. And so she had an opening on the 9th. So I messaged her, I'm like, hey, can you reschedule my hair appointment? She's like, yeah, no problem. I can give it to you on the 9th. 1.30, I'm like, great. So me, I, you know, common courtesy is always to let someone know, like, or kind of ask, hey, I'm bringing my camera. I hope that's okay, because not everybody want to be on camera. Most people will be like, yeah, you can, and so I don't want my face in it, whatever. But most hairstyles would welcome, you know, welcome it in, you know, it's free promo. I mean, I didn't tell her who I was or, like, my following or anything, because I just... I'm still not good at telling, like, it just sounds really, like, entitled. Like, by the way, I have almost 500,000, like, it sounds disgusting. I don't want to hear that from nobody. So I'm, I didn't tell her who I was, but I was like, hey, is it okay if I bring my vlogging camera so I can record the process? And she was like, um, no, if no recording is allowed, if you want to record, you have to book a private class. So in my head, I'm like, maybe she doesn't understand what I'm saying. Like, I'm not trying to get a tutorial of how to silk press. I just want, like, my experience, you know, blah, 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 yada, yada. So I was like, okay. Um, so I sent another text. I'm like, okay, I can book a private room. I don't need a class for it, though, like, a private room so I can record. I'm like, or if anything, like, I'll just... I have just my my iPhone. I won't bring my whole vlog set up. Like just my iPhone, and I was like, or like, can I just at least make a reel? I want some footage of this process because I'm about to get a complete hair transformation, and I'm a hair influencer. Obviously, I want to record it because y'all are about to be like, where's the video? Where's the video? And I want it for myself. Like, come on, this is this is good content. She said, no, please, no recording. And you know, I respect it. I'm I'm not gonna force you to like make me re record, but. Even though I think it's funny how I can't record in there at all. Yet on her Instagram, she has all these videos of her doing her. So uh, I can't get no footage, but you can get some for your page. <laughs> Canceled. Ah, uh, now I have to cancel it. Bruh, I'm not getting my deposit back. The deposit is final, which I get it. I'm not tripping over that. But I'm just like, who doesn't want free promo? I don't get it. Why we can't, why I can't record in there, sis? Hmm? You doing some illegal stuff in there? Hmm? What is the reason? But it's okay. It's okay. You know, I respect it. I'm just, I'm just not gonna 
book with you this time. Like, I would be fine with her doing my hair for like a touch up or something, but for the very first salon visit with what I'm about to do, which I showed you in my last vlog, I'm actually surprised no one said anything. You guys are more focused on like encouraging me with the last part of what I said, which I, I appreciate it. But y'all don't, don't act. When I get this done to my hair, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. The same way y'all said, oh, ignore the haters. This is your life, do what you want. I want that same energy when I do this to my hair. I don't want to hear it. Hmm? I don't want to hear it. And I gave y'all the fair warning in the last vlog and literally not one person said anything. I'm really surprised. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite shocked. But it's okay because this is actually a blessing in disguise because now I'm going to one of the like, I don't know if she's the best stylist in Atlanta, but I'm going to book a appointment with stylist Charlie. Um, she did Vicky Logan's hair. She did Lakia's hair. We're flying to Atlanta now. I might as well get the best of the best. And we know how my luck has been lately with um, people that I hire and pay to do services for me. So I might as well get the best of the best done. But the problem with her is that she's booked up until the 22nd of August. I mean, the 22nd of September. So I have to wait, but she's worth it. I'll wait for her. I, at least I will know that I'm getting exactly what I want. And I can bring at least my cell phone. Because I've seen that people do, you know, reels in there. I don't know if I can bring my whole vlog camera. But cell phone, I get my footage on my cell phone. So that's that. But yeah, like I've been living in this scarf, you guys, and living underneath a half wig for like a while, like two months. Like ever since I got married, really. Poor, my poor husband's probably like, ma'am, please do something different. I don't got nothing else. Oh, come on, lighting. Wow, this angle's kind of nice. So our dining chairs came in. Um, I don't know. You can see the orange ones back there. That was very last apartment. We're doing something new. I hope I like them. I got them from Amazon. I'm gonna put them together. Actually, we can put them together on this vlog. But, you know, the whole dining room transformation vlog. Is that out yet? As of right now, no. Will it be out before this vlog? Maybe, I don't know. Um, but let's put them together. Yeah. Isn't it crazy that dining chairs can fit in a box this small? Also, I'm like, okay, I hope I read the description properly and these aren't for like a playhouse. All right, that's a lot of pieces. Whenever I see this bag like full of screws and stuff, I get a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. Instructions, but we don't read these. We figure it out ourselves, right? Oh, wow, okay. Where's that knife? I feel like I just had it. Am I sitting on it? This isn't going well. Where's that I just had, oh. All right, maybe I should just take a peek at the instructions. Very simple chair. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. But not that it looks hard, I just don't really. It's not giving soft life, you know? Like, soft life is like, you just enjoy people doing things for you. This is very much giving medium life. I want it soft. If y'all hear a noise in the back, it's my air fryer. I'm making some chicken. But this is a nice little place for my badonka doll to sit. This is really short. Is this right? So let me. Who's ready? Ha ha, step one. <clears throat> I'm ready to eat before I do this because I'm hungry now. It's gonna come out good, y'all. Stop, don't play with me. Hmm. People are usually like, why are you building that? Let your husband do it, but <clears throat> first of all, my husband is at work. You think I'm gonna have him come home and build some chairs when I can't do it myself? No. Okay, I can do this myself. Hmm. FP, I'm tired. Oh, baby, I'm on fire. Mm, mm, mm. Today drains me. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to date night.
first of all, I know y'all tired of seeing me in this shirt. Um, so, food review of the place we went to. 1-800-LUCKY. I, I was not up all night to get lucky. No, it was not good. Everyone talks so highly of it on TikTok. Why do you guys do that? I did meet some subscribers there. Hey, y'all. Hey. That was the best part of the night because the food, cool. food wasn't good. It was a little overcooked and under seasoned. Mm -hmm. If you want more food reviews, just let us know. If you want to try that um, challenge that I sent you with the guy in the... It's impossible. What the, can I see it again? <laughs> nah, never mind. Ooh. I feel like we got the floor a little bit. <laughs> oh no! Wait, no! Last one's up. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Hey, I just wanted everybody to know that we lost power for um, 10 seconds. Not even. Very not exciting. No. That, we have nothing else to say. Power's Happy back. Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Bye. So today we're gonna party and we're gonna have a grand time. And Jess also made me breakfast. What a star. <laughs> if you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. Oh, pretty. Was the very moment that I realized I went underneath the water and my wig did not come with me. I have to hurry! I have to hurry before she puts it back on! I got it, but I didn't know her whole wig came off! And they had a slide that like shoots you into the water. So um, I saw people going down and I'm like, oh, this looks fun. So let me tell you, when I was going down, I real like, it wasn't a long time. The slide go down, the time on the slide going down is maybe five seconds. But I had a feeling, I'm like, this is, when I was, go <laughs> when I was going down, it was so much faster than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> and the impact from when your body flies into the air, and hits the water, it is, it's tough. Yeah, my body hit the water and my wig said I went down and my wig stayed at the top. And the crazy thing is when I was going down, I knew my wig wasn't on my head anymore. There was at least 12 other people in the pool. So I'm like, I had a few thoughts going through my head, like one, hold your breath until the party's over, never come back up. Two, we have to laugh it off. Like the best thing you can do when you get embarrassed, just kind of like laugh with everybody else. Like don't act mad, don't act embarrassed. Just kind of like play along. And thank God Jonathan was right next to me because he was just, <laughs> you know, he was having a good time with me too. My sister caught it all on camera because 
we were trying to vlog us having a good time not vlog my wig flying off but lord have mercy but anyways i i wasn't gonna wash my hair tonight because it's like nine it's 9 30 now and every time i wash my hair at night especially i start feeling sick in the morning come on leg check Anyways, that was my Labor Day. Hope y'all's was good. Y'all had a relaxing, fun time. Really, we really slacked on the barbecues this year, guys. I asked maybe like 10 people yesterday at church, what's the plan for tomorrow? Where the barbecue at? Nobody, nobody, nobody had one. What's going on, guys? Anyways, all right, I'm gonna wash my hair. I wish I knew you wanted me. All right, if I'm being 100, I feel like my hair is coming back to like its proper hotness. Like it's. Bella's, she's looking like she wants a second chance, kind of. Is she getting one? No. But I feel like I've already made up my mind on what I want to do. It's, it's too late. I've watched at least 10,000 YouTube videos, Instagram reels, TikToks. My mind is made up. I'm, it's over. It's over. <laughs> Y'all, I'll be back tomorrow. I just, mm -mm. Hey y'all, so this is what my hair looks like. I actually fell asleep in my deep conditioner and never made it to the gym this morning. Look, that 4.30 a.m. call time, it's not gonna work for me. I'm trying so hard to be consistent and it's really like mind over matter, but it's too early, bro, I'm sorry. There's no need. It's not like I have to be somewhere 8 a.m. that I need to be at the gym by 5 a.m. There's. I'm not a 5 a.m. girly, I'm not. I woke up this morning at 4.30, my alarm went off. I looked over at Jonathan to see if he woke up too, because when Jonathan wakes up too, he usually encourages me to go. He's like, all right, like it's gonna be fine, just go. I looked over, he was asleep, I'm like, Pfft. Ciao. Good night. <laughs> I went back to sleep. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, so whatever. I just rinsed out my the deep conditioner and I put in leave-in and this is what it's looking like. It's still giving very much see-through right here. You can tell it's thicker at the top because of the new growth, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, that's, it doesn't look horrible, but that's, it's probably one of the last hair updates I'm gonna give y'all. I'm, I've got nothing more to say. But that's not why I came here. I came on here because I feel like Amazon bamboozled me. And I'm starting to think, like, is it me? Is it me, Jesus? Am, am I the drama? Is it me? So I bought this on Amazon. First of all, I mean, first things first, I thought it was black. It's actually dark gray. I don't know if you can tell. It looks black on camera. And it looked black in the picture too, but it's actually gray. I'm having an issue with this top part because they didn't do it right. Okay, so this top part, like this, is supposed to be on this side, right? But not only that, you see um, these like silver things here? They're supposed to go in, in these holes, which they do, right? That goes in, but the, oh Lord have mercy. The ones on this side in here, they don't go in because this is up too far, too far up. And so is this one. The holes are like right here and here. Oh, you can see them on this side. They're supposed to go in through here, but they didn't put these in the right spot, like the holes for these. <sighs> That's problem number one. Problem number two, like I said, these are supposed to be on this side because the doors are supposed to go on this side because these are down here. Now I'm sure you guys are like, hey Jess, just flip it around. Of course. Let me show you what happens when I do that. Let's just do a flip de do oh, Flip it around, put that hole in there, right? Put this hole on this side. But now, these are here. But this board is here. This thing is on the middle. Like there's a skinnier side and there's a wider side. So this, now these are in the front, which is fine. But this is supposed to go in here. And no, there's no more holes in the bottom for me to put this anywhere else. It's supposed to be here. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think they did this right. And now I'm over here looking funny. Maybe I can make new holes. I shouldn't have to do that though. That's my thing. You know, I shouldn't have to do that. Apparently these were just the cards that I was dealt in life because it just keeps happening to your girl. It keeps happening to me. Weird things keep happening. Amazon don't usually do me dirty, but here I am. Anyways, also one more thing. You know how I said I went swimming yesterday? Like I have an earwax issue, y'all. Very gross. But every time I go swimming, one of my ears gets filled up with like the water and the wax just kind of like expands and now I cannot hear out of this ear. And this morning, I know I did the, the, the one thing that people tell you not to do when it comes to your ears, I was sticking stuff down there. I took like a, a pin, what is it? Like a paper clip. 
I unfolded it and I was trying to get all the earwax out and then I went down a little too far and now it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad and I still can't really hear out of this ear. So I know I'm normally yelling but I might be yelling, ow, see it just like I get a sharp pain every now and then. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. <sighs> okay. So here's the plan, 527, my husband. Have I been my husbanding y'all to death enough? Like I feel like I haven't been doing it enough. Like my husband, my husband, I haven't been, I don't feel like I've been saying it enough. But anyway, Jonathan gets off at 6.30. So I got an hour, but he'll probably get home around seven. And Jonathan's one request, I respect it. Since you know, now I'm cooking again. So his one request is like, hey, look, I don't care what you do throughout the day, but can you at least try to make sure dinner is ready by the time I get home? <laughs> because, ow. The first, like, the first few times that he would come home, it's like, wasn't ready yet. Like, I was cooking in the kitchen, but it wasn't ready yet. He's sitting there like, I'm hungry. So, um, that was one little request. And at first, I was like, you're so ungrateful. Like, I said it in my head, but I'm like, all right, if you're home, like, you know what time he's getting home, have dinner be ready. Most times, at least, if I'm able to. So, in my head, I should stop building this and start with dinner. But I really would prefer to do this. But I also would prefer to not see my husband with that long face when he comes home, like, you know? So, I guess I'll start cooking. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish this tonight. So I'll show you guys this one is done, if I can figure it out, and now I'm gonna go make some dinner. I gotta wash my hands. Now it's time to get the cooking. No, oh, yeah, cook. Cook. Oh, yeah, that's dirty. Yeah, I'm gonna set the temperature for three minutes. Water to start the melting process. He gently moved the jars, sealed and cooled. Whenever you get this, I was locked 23 and 1. What? You know that song? The Kodak and uh, Diddy Son? Oh, no, I never heard it. You never heard I'm it? Christian, I don't listen to that music. What are you talking about? I'm going to show you the song. I'm going to start this up better than my name. Ah, yeah. Tell them what you did to your ear. I told them earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so babe, a while ago, a few vlogs ago, someone said in each vlog we should put something that we learned, like a marriage lesson that we've learned in the past week. Yeah, I learned that I love Justice Family. You just now learned that you love my family? <laughs> I learned that I love them more. Or you learned that they love you. Oh, that too. And Jonathan just realized that my brothers really, really like him. No, I want them to watch them. They're like, like, wow, what a loser. I, 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 <laughs> who, I, I, who said I, that? <laughs> who said that? No, I'm saying, like, for, I was like, that's my family for real. That's your family for real? For real. Aww. For real, for real. Aww. That's cute. This is a lot too. They're lit. They're yeah, awesome. no, they're great. That's bad, that's bad, bro. Put on everything. More life, more everything. Okay, I don't know what's happening with Jonathan. He just turned into, um, what's his name, Combs. Um, uh, anyway, <laughs> King Combs, the heck happened to you? A marriage lesson I learned in the past. Hmm. You got nothing. <laughs> what did I learn? I mean, it's like, okay, there's things that I knew already, but I, like, personally learned them. It's like, okay, this is what everyone was talking about. It's like, you know how you, like, you know something, but it's like, ah. There it is. My fellow men. Uh oh. There's not many of you on this channel. <laughs> but for those of you who do exist, uh huh. There are times where your wife, significant other, is gonna act in ways that don't make any sense to you, or react to things that don't make sense to you. But I just kind of learned that you have to realize, you have to respect the differences between, you know, the genders. Like, there's gonna be stuff that. I react to that doesn't don't make sense to Jess either. Jess is looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, what, what, what are you talking, what are you But like, there's gonna be like certain <laughs> things that like, you're like, oh, I did not think that was a big deal at all. Like, I didn't read into that at all. But it's because I'm a man, my mind is simpler, and it's not that girls trip, or for girls, it's not that guys are stupid. It's just that our minds kind of just work differently. You learn to respect those differences, mm -hmm. that's when you win, rather than demonizing each other's differences. Very nice, honey. <laughs> Wait, what did I do? <laughs> we did, I remember us having this conversation, but I don't remember, like, why. What I learned is that we literally just got married three months ago. And I can't compare myself to what our future self is going to be like. Like, we're still learning. It's like how I see, like, if, say, Jonathan leaves his socks on the ground. In, like, 
two years, he might not be doing that anymore. It's because, like, but we're still adapting to each other. And I can't be like, oh my God, this is how it's going to be for the rest of our lives. Like, we're both still learning and, like, adapting to each other's habits. You know, like, I'm sure there's stuff that I do that Jonathan's like, oh, this, this can't go on. Probably not. I don't know. But. Wait, is there? <laughs> If there is stuff that I'm doing that Jonathan's like, oh, hell no, nah, bro. I'm not about to live. Like, whatever. Communication, of course. And then over time, gently remind the person. Like, hey, John, can you pick up your socks or whatever? To the point where the socks are being picked up after a while. He's looking around to see if there's any socks down here. The socks are being picked up. And by year three or whatever, it's not an issue anymore. Like, it's still early. It's literally only three months in. The, the way things are today most likely aren't going to be the way things are in 10 years. Like, we're still learning and adapting to each other. It's kind of like the um, the Bible verse that says, like, make allowance for each other's... Uh... You better bring it back to the word. Come on! <laughs> it's like the Bible verse that kind of says, make allowance for each other's faults. Mm -hmm. Um... Because, like, that's just showing, you know, great, showing grace to each other. Because we all, like Jess said, we're both learning, mm -hmm. figuring stuff out. And treating these situations, like, where you, where someone does something that annoys you with love. And showing them, like, like showing them that love and grace is really what gets them to change rather than nagging. I feel like when, when there's, like, na when there's nagging, it builds up more animosity in the heart rather than um, mm -hmm. the want to change. But if someone comes to you with grace, it's like... Oh, yeah, I, I know I asked, like, I asked you before, but, like, uh, just, like, a kind reminder, it's, like, dang, like, she was patient with me and, like, you know, made an allowance for, like, me to fail because she knows that I'm trying. And th that makes me want to try more. Like, mm. one thing that Jess asked me to do, she said, <laughs> she, she asked me, she said, if you're the last person to leave the bed, oh, yeah. to make the, make sure that you make the bed. And like, you know, like as a single person, like growing up my whole life, like I never made my, like I never made my bed because I just thought it was stupid. I thought it was stupid and pointless and just like, it's like you're going to leave the bed, like you're, like you're, you're going to come back it. and mess it up again. But she just like, she asked me to do that. And um, one day I forgot and she like, she kindly asked me to do it again. And then like a few days later, I left the house, like, and I drove down the road, and I remembered that I didn't make the bed. <laughs> and Lily turned around and made a U-turn and came back home to make the bed. But, like, if she hadn't been nagging me to do it, I wouldn't have come back home. You wouldn't have? If it was, just, like, nagging? No, but it's like, you're so, ni like, you're so nice Ooh. about it that it was, like, you know, let me, let me do this thing that, you know, yes. she asked me to do. Niceness goes so much further than being angry even though that is that is my first reaction and Jonathan is definitely teaching me not with his words but in his actions to be a lot nicer like there's a lot of things I noticed okay this is the last thing I'm gonna let y'all go anyway it's 12 30 in the morning but anyway there's a lot of things that like I do like say like I farted or something and Jonathan would be like oh it's okay it's okay and if Jonathan farts I'm like ew you're disgusted like you stink but like he's so nice <laughs> to me like say i had like a boogie in my nose you're like it's okay there's you know it's okay i'm like Ew, you got a boogie on <laughs> you're so nice to me <laughs> it's, it's literally something i've noticed lately i'm like you're so gentle with me and i'm like i'm not <laughs> i'd be beating this man i'm like ew <laughs> That's something that I can work on. That, that's a goal for my future. Look, I grew up with two older brothers. But we Nobody was nice in our house. <laughs> so it's a um, it's definitely something I'm going to work on. Especially for when we have kids. But I don't know. I might be bullying my children. I don't know. I'm like, bro, you got last place. Bro, tighten up. Jonathan's like, it's okay. <laughs> nah, I'm bullying our kids. <laughs> But on a, seri on, a, on a serious note. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just no, no serious note, Brett. No, I'm just kidding. A, okay. Just as fine. But a nice words turneth away wrath. For anger. But wrath. harsh Ooh. words stir up anger. Mm. You know, just keep that. That's a key. That's a key for your relationship. It's a key. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this is <laughs> more right. this is over. You know? This is the last thing we're doing. <laughs> Why are we doing this? There's no reason. <laughs> There's no reason. I don't have my camera stand, so. Dang, this is a really large shot. But it's only 20%. All the way back? That's not bad at all. Alright, good night, bro.
honestly. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I'm getting a pimple. Wow, that's, wow, that's juicy. Ew. Anyways, I just want to come on here and tell you guys how my life is a joke. Am I being punished for something? It's, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's 1.58 a.m. I don't know if I showed this earlier, but I went to the grocery store. Oh, and I bought some tea to help me sleep. Because I have a really hard time sleeping at night, which I said in the last vlog. I just cannot sleep at night. So I was like, you know what? I need some assistance. So, um, so yeah, we went to bed at like 11.25 and I drank my tea at 11.30. No. So I made the bedtime tea and I brought it upstairs because I wanted to drink it while I was in bed so that I didn't have to drink it and then go upstairs and whatever. I wanted to be in bed while I drank it. Drink it at 11.30 p.m. 11.30 it's 2 a.m. and it has not kicked in yet. If anything, I feel more awake now than I did before I drank this tea. But let me tell y'all something else. So you know how my ear is hurting really bad? That pain from my ear has now traveled to my throat and now my throat hurts so bad. Like it, every time I swallow, it hurts so bad. So I just made some ginger tea and I'm hoping that will help. The worst part about all of this is that I'm supposed to be up at 4.30 to go to my workout class. That's canceled. That's dead. I'm not going. This is why I can't go to that class because I can't go to sleep at night. I just can't go to sleep. Jonathan's been asleep for a little over two hours and I've been upstairs struggling. It's very frustrating. If you guys have any remedies on how to get me to sleep. Like I said, I tried the tea. I tried not being on my phone. Someone suggested sex to have sex before bed in the last vlog. It doesn't help, okay? Because Jonathan's sleeping, I'm up. Hello? Um, no, it's not working. If y'all got anything else, please let me know. Oh, my throat hurts so bad. I'm about to go put some ear drops in my ear again. I just don't know what to do with myself. My eyelashes are a mess. I got a pimple on my head. <laughs> Sit, I'm down bad. Your girl is down bad. I'm just gonna hang out downstairs for a little bit because I've been doing a lot of tossing and turning. I don't want to wake up Jonathan because he has to wake up at like 6 a.m. for work. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm about to knit a sweater. I'm, I don't know. Ow, ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna drink my tea. I guess I'm gonna end the vlog like this. This wasn't the plan, but tomorrow's canceled. Obviously, we're not gonna make it. So, love you guys. See you in the next vlog. spread easily from the throat to the ear or vice versa because they're connected. Pillin or moxicillin? I don't think so. No. Not at all? No. Okay. So, but no more drops, no Q-tips. No, no. Yeah, keep it completely dry, okay? Because okay. the water that can irritate the infection is just yeah. a barrier for infection to grow. Okay. So keep it completely dry, okay? How long after I take the amoxicillin or whatever will it stop hurting? So it should improve within 24 to 48 hours, but everyone is different. It's so it's you gotta take the whole, you gotta take the whole thing, right? Yes, you gotta take the whole thing. I know, no, no, no. Don't no, stop no, in the middle because it can just come right back. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I'm okay, cool. Yeah. Thank right. you. You're I'm back. <laughs> I know I said goodbye yesterday morning. I'm back, just for a little bit, because I just want to give y'all an update. So last night, the pain was unbearable, and look, I grew up with Jamaican parents. Y'all know, we drink tea, we call it a day, go to your bed. I was like, Jonathan, we need to go to the doctor. Like, I need to go to urgent care right now. I couldn't swallow. My ear was piercing me to the point where I'm in tears. Now look, I do not like to cry. I don't cry very often. And Jonathan was like, he told me later in the night, he's like, you know how I knew that you were in real pain? I was like, how? Like that you said you wanted to go to the doctor. You never do that. That's just something I'm not accustomed to. I just feel like if something hurts, it'll be bad. It'll get better. And I know that's a bad practice because it's just like, go to the doctor. But anyway, so we went to urgent care. While I was sitting in the urgent care room, I just start crying. And it, I, the way I cry is so funny because like, I'm not gonna tell you I'm crying, but you better notice. So I'm sitting next to Jonathan and the tears are just coming down my, my face. Like I don't, I don't really cry loud or bawl unless like I'm more so, like for pain, I don't bawl. I do quite a silent cry. When my heart is broken, 
I'm like, <laughs> like I'm a very passionate crier. But anyways, when I'm, when I'm in pain, it's a silent cry. So I'm sitting there, Jonathan's holding my hand, he's on his phone, and I just have tears filling up my mask. Okay, my mask is wet on my face. This, this is going on for about five minutes, and I'm like, are you gonna look over and see that I'm crying? <laughs> But that's not the anyway, so I start crying because I'm just like bro I'm in pain and every it was just hurting everything was hurting so yeah I would go to the doctor they give me Antibiotics, I think it's I have amoxicillin. Yes amoxicillin. They gave me this and um, they also told me stop putting the eardrops in for me She's like enough with the eardrops stop putting those in because your ears need to be dry for this to whatever to work But I beg of you public service announcement <laughs> Hello, if your eardrum is full of earwax or something. And I know that we've been saying this from the beginning of time. Do not stick anything down your ear! Let me show y'all what I was using. Oh, I, I may have thrown it away. I have one down here and I had one upstairs. Let me see if I could find it. Y'all are gonna look at me like I'm absolutely insane when you see what I was putting down. Ah, okay, I found one. This isn't the... Sorry, I gotta bend down because I can't find my camera stand. This is what I was using, but not only was I using it like this, I would open it up and go like this, but even more worse, I would clip this end off so that it wasn't round, but it was sharp. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I stuck down my ear. Th listen though, I have had bad earwax for years. I'm not new to this, I'm true to this, and I've been doing that for a long time. But I don't know, something happened this time where I stuck it too far down. Oh, my husband's home. I stuck it too far down and I, <laughs> punctured my ear um, but today's Friday and I still can't hear out of this ear so I'm like is it gonna come back cuz I mean I like I said I've had this problem for a long time this is not the first time it's happened but my hearing loss has never ever lasted this long so um, it's been five days and I haven't really been able to hear out of my right ear so I hope that comes back I felt really guilty because Jonathan has been talking about football season for like two months now and has just been so excited he, he's on four draft fantasy football team like he loves football he's been waiting for football forever and last night was the first game last night was Thursday you know Thursday night football it was the first game and we were in the uh, urgent care <laughs> and then when we got home I was just laying on his shoulder crying the whole time like I know he wanted to get up and like yeah good play, blah blah no I had that man in chains I'm, I felt so bad and I know he just wanted to drink a beer and watch football baby I love you but I mean he didn't make me feel bad, but I felt bad, but I mean there's nothing I could do I was just I was just in so much pain Child. Lesson learned, okay? Anyways y'all I'm, I'm closing the vlog for real this time Hopefully this goes up on Sunday. I think I'm gonna try to do Sundays I was gonna try to do Thursdays, but I was like mm, Thursdays isn't giving so I'm gonna try to do Sundays. We'll see You all know I always say don't hold me to nothing if you see me do it three Sundays in a row Then maybe like I'm on to something but don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, love you guys. Bye. See you in the next vlog.